What's up everyone, welcome to another video and we're about to head to the gym because my brother finally arrived. So, hey. um, now, as you see, we already have our pre-workout out here and our <laughs> question to you would be, my question to you would be, what kind of pre-workout do you prefer? Do you want something that gives you like clean energy and a good pump? Or do you like more so the hardcore uh, version of the pre-workouts where it, it makes you go crazy pretty much in the gym? Now, what's your take on it? Uh, in my opinion, I think the harder it kicks in, the better. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm the same way. Because both of us have naturally a very high resistance and also tolerance to those things in pre-workouts. Even though we are not drinking any coffee nor any energy drinks. But still, I remember the first time, do you know, when we took uh, the one more rep? Fuck this! Remember uh, when we was in the, uh, in the bus? The we bus? were in the bus? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> With the hardcore pre-workout. <laughs> Guys, we took like, I don't quite remember the name, but we took like one scoop of each, uh, each, and man, our heart was pumping! But what was it? I, I don't quite remember the name, man. White but, heat! Oh uh, uh, yeah, wh white heat. And Man, we took like, but it's the European version, so we ha without the Yohimbi and all that, pretty much without all the good stuff. Um, so the clean version of it, we took like one scoop each. We're sitting in the bus, and he 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 tells me like, "Hey, man, man, is your heart pumping as mine does?" <laughs> and we're like, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, and we're sitting there. So I mean, we both imagined us doing squats or deadlifts, and it was insane, man. So, yeah, but naturally we were very resistant. So I remember the one time our first pre-workout was the one more rep. But it wasn't like the good version with the, how is it called, the DMA8 in it? Is it DMA8? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so with the good stuff. But we had um, the other version after it was banned. And so we got us the normal version and we are like, we haven't touched any pre-workout in our life. And we are not drinking coffee nor energy drinks, I might remind you. And we took like half a scoop because it says assess your tolerance. One scoop was the maximum. We took half a scoop, didn't feel shit. I was so disappointed, both of us. And so then we um, kicked it up a notch to one scoop. And then we finally felt it. And then we realized that we are naturally very tolerant to caffeine and all the other stimulants in those pre-workouts. So that's why we like the hardcore version. I mean, even we don't uh, drink coffee. Yeah. So yeah, I already mentioned it. Oh shit! Like two, two times. <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> but guys. So um, but <laughs> where did that leave? Um, yeah, naturally very tolerant. So. Um, we had to do up it like so that's why we, we really like hardcore pre-workouts because we actually feel them and his tolerance is even worse than mine so that's why I have to cycle off the pre-workout like every two weeks or so we get used to everything so fast but enough random talk so yeah see you guys at the gym we started off with some paused incline bench pressing hit 102.5 kilograms which is 225 for three sets of three and this is a personal best for both of us and afterwards we dropped the weight back down to 85 kilograms and did one high rep set of as many reps as you can get without hitting failure which means you will stop one rep before hitting failure we, we just can't afford to go all out because we have to train our chest like every other day and if you push too far in one session your strength will most likely suffer in the next one because you won't be recovered properly. And then we moved on to some squats. I hit 125 kilograms for two sets of five and my brother hit 132.5 kilograms for as well two sets of five. And you might ask yourself, why only two sets? Now it's because, and you also see this in Johnny Candido's six weeks program, where in some weeks he has three upper body days, but only two lower body days. And this is because your lower body, and not only your muscles, but also your ligaments and joints, need more time to recover than your upper body. And guys, 
this exercise. We contribute most of our strength gains when it comes to the bench press to this exercise. Because we are doing in each and every session, we are doing at least one to two sets of close grip bench pressing. In one session we will go pretty heavy and do like, yeah maybe like five to six reps and the next session we will then go high reps with lighter weight and do maybe 10 up to 12 reps. And since then our bench press has gone up by a lot. Back from the gym guys and the fucked up thing at first was that we arrived there and had to wait for like 20 minutes for the incline bench press because the, it was taken. And so the pre-workout was already kicking in and so, so we had to go like beast mode on fucking rotator calves like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you know that feeling and it's so fucked up because you can't do anything we have like only one power rack and we have to do the incline bench press in the power rack because we only have like a flat bench but no incline bench press yeah so we had to improvise and wait and yeah guys my brother eating his usual chicken with rice and me my post-workout shake with the spinach and afterwards we're gonna play some ps3 yes you may ask where is the ps4 that you saw before and my girlfriend actually took the ps4 with her um yeah like be because the ps4 actually belongs to her and yeah <laughs> i don't want to talk about and this was it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next one. German Gains, peace out.